welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, I guess, more of a makeup look type of video where I am featuring both of these Pixie It's Judy's Life palettes that I picked up during my trip to LA. I finally went to the Target there and was able to pick one up. I know I'm a little late in the game. Um, I know she launched these a while ago, but I thought, you know what, these are also my first Pixie products that I've tried out, so I thought I'd feature a like day to night look using the same two palettes. And of course, if you guys want to watch on, on how I created this um, look, this day look, and this look, then do watch on. All right, now that you guys are up close, I've already done my foundation and I've done my eyebrows. Foundation is the Maybelline um, Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation on the go. I have it in Warm New 30, one of my favorite ones. And of course, another favorite of mine that I use for my eyebrows is the Tarte uh, Arch Architect Brow Pencil and Gel, which I featured in some of my videos already, both of them. And I've already primed my eyelids with the um, Etude House Proof 10 Eye Primer, also one of my favorites. So um, with this, I guess, uh, natural look, I'm going to probably be focusing on the first, I guess, six shades. I never watch any videos to create a day look using this, so I'm just gonna go freehand and try some of this out. Um, the top six shades right here, there's more shimmers than matte, but I'm gonna go with this shade right here, which is Good Morning. I feel like this is a nice shade to um, either pack over my eyelids, like right here. It's a nice shade to just like run over my eyelids, so I'm just like packing it right on. I'm going to be taking um, this frosty shade in the middle, which is called Brick, and I'm going to be blending that onto the socket of my eyes with probably a flat brush because I want the color to be a little bit more intense. So it would just be patted right here. I want to give it a like more of a gradient effect. Okay, so that gives it more like a warm tone type of effect right there. And then I'm just going to use another brush and use this color, which is It's Mommy's Life. Just like brush it underneath my brow bone to highlight that little area. And for the shimmer that's going to go through um, that area of my eyes, like the front or inner corner of my eyes, is going to get the shade that's called Bubbly. That's a really nice, you know, just like a, a gradient type of effect. I really like shimmers on my eyes, so any opportunity I get, I would definitely do that. Then for the corner tear duct that I like to use, I'm going to mix both It's Mommy's Light and Bubbly. It allows my eyes to like brighten up a bit. I'm just using the same brush, but honestly, I could probably use a more defined brush if I wanted to. And using more of a detail brush, I'm going to go back into Brick right here and I'm going to mix it with Good Morning Put it underneath my eyes right here. I love how pigmented these colors are. And of course, I always like to line my eyes. For a day look, I normally don't do um, like falsies or anything like that, so I'm definitely just going to go straight into lining my eyes and then putting on some mascara. So eyeliner I'm using is the Makeup uh, sorry, this is the Hello Kitty eyeliner that is one of my favorites that I got, I think, from Yes Style. And then, of course, my favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirls, the Super Sizer. I normally like to do a wing at the end of it. As I know, normally my eyes droop a bit, so I think doing a little flick like that would actually look a lot better for me. So one thing that I forgot to do, and it's a very important step, is to blend out the colors because I realize they're, they're quite intense. So I just take a, you know, just a clean brush and just blend out that area right here just to make sure that, you know, there's no harsh edges, um, colors blend together, um, and so forth. And then, of course, mascara. I've also noticed that my foundation didn't hide a lot of my eye bags here. It's still quite dark, so I'm going to brighten that area. Brighten that area, of course, using the uh, Touche Eclair uh, Radiant Touch. This is the YSL one, one of my favorites. I have it in shade number two. 
and I'm just going to be using, um, I guess, the puff that came with the uh, Maybelline on the go and kind of just like blend it in. Now that I blended that area out, of course, I'm going to highlight and put some blush on. I'm using the Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. I really like this shade right here. I'm going to be using a stipple brush from e.l.f. Applying a little bit that of that on and then just sweeping it right on the top of my cheeks. So giving it that nice, nice highlight. So a tap of that really goes a long way. And then of course, um, for the blush part, I'm using the same stipple brush, I mix these two for a more natural type of look. And on the balls of, or yeah, the apples of my cheeks. So because it's a day look, I don't go too heavy handed on the blush part. I don't necessarily contour either, um, just, just how I like it. Uh, usually I contour more for like a night look. So, you know, you just want to look a little bit more slim. Um, so the finishing touch would obviously be the lips. And of course, I also have the, the Pixie uh, plus It's Judy Time Get the Look. It's Lip Time palette as well. Once again, this is like a similar palette to the shadows. Um, it also has, I believe, two, 12 shades. And it also has a mirror that I can attach on the back of it. But once again, I'm not gonna be using it for this look. I am going to try to use it without um, like uh, moisturizer or anything like that because I really wanna test out how you know, maybe it's really dry, maybe it's not so dry, so who knows? So I'm gonna take a lip brush and I am going to go with, you know, colors up here, more of a nude shape color. Um, I'm going to try Kira Bear. I think this is a really nice pink shade that um, we have here. So it's quite nude. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of color to it to um, milk chocolate. Maybe I'm gonna add it to be like a, just a deeper shade. Um, as much as yes, I like nude and this is a, you know, daytime look. I want it to be slightly darker. So it still seems quite light to me, so I'm going to try to add a bit more again, called Falling Leaves. I know I said these are the darker colors that I might use for a night look, but if I mix it up a little, it might not be so bad for a morning look. I know morning is more so like nude, not as dark. I really like that mix because look uh, the color that I came with is actually something that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis really. It's no no real difference I guess you can say. Three colors. One is Kira Bear, Milk Chocolate, and Falling Leaves to get this shade but I'm pretty sure I could have just maybe jumped from one to another maybe mixing only two, the darker one and the lighter one. I just didn't realize Kira Bear was quite light. So to complete this look, of course, I have to use a setting spray. I want to make sure it lasts all day, right? So I'm using the Makeup Forever. This is the Mist and Fix. Ooh, <laughs> Mist and Fix right here. I know I only have the travel size one. I'm meaning to get the full size one soon. Of it, and it will stay on um, for the whole day, I would say. I know on camera you can't really capture it being um, really you know, light-handed on a lot of things, but uh, this is my day look that I normally go for. All right, we are back to, um, I guess, turn this day look into a night look using the Pixie It's Judy's Time palette. I'm going to be focusing on the, you know, darker shades at the bottom, so intensifying the look that we have already. So I am going to take a flat brush because I want to intensify this part this outer corner. So I'm going to be adding this shade right here, which is Getaway. Um, it's a frosty burgundy shade. So I'm gonna add it onto this area. Ooh, look how pigmented that is. Just adding that, it already intensified the look, making it uh, a lot darker. And of course, I will take my fluffy brush and blend it out a bit because, you know, nobody wants harsh edges. Personally, I already like a look like this, 
but because I want to play with other shades on here, I'm going to be adding a little bit of this black that's at the corner, which is dark chocolate. And let's see what kind of, I guess, effect would I get from this. Wow, look at that. I'm already liking this look a lot more. Like it's like a smoky eye, but yet, you know, still quite um, good for even daytime, but like I, Personally, I wouldn't put this as a daytime look. Of course, with the same brush, I'm gonna wipe a bit of that. The bottoms of my eyes right here. Give it a more smoky eye look. I'm really liking this look, actually. Now that I'm done with my eyes, um, I will also actually be putting falsies, so I'm gonna do that last. I actually want to do a bit of contouring and intensifying my blush first. So by intensify, I'm gonna mix I'm going to be using the same palette, which is the Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. I'm going to be intensifying by mixing these two. I always find night looks are more like bold because lighting is one thing, right? You can't really catch much of that during nighttime, so it's always better to intensify the look, especially if you're going to be taking photos. I know in like broad daylight, you're probably looking at this and you're like, whoa, Mandy, this is a lot. But honestly, pictures, um, you know, speak for itself. And of course, I'm going to contour using the Too Cool for School. This is one of another one of my favorites that I've been using. And I guess I featured in a lot of my videos. So I like I like to mix these two right here. You know, my camera doesn't capture it as much as I expect it to. Okay, and then of course my lips, I do want to intensify that. And so I'm going to be playing with other shades right here. Of course, the darker shades. Once again, I'm going to be using a lip brush. I, I've never mentioned this one, but this one is actually from BH Cosmetics. It's one of the retractable ones. I am actually going to play around with this color. I'm going to add on top of what I have. And this is a sultry. It's a really nice berry color. Okay, so that's done with using all of that. I'm actually gonna put on a pair of falsies for you guys to see how this look would be like. Um, the falsies that I'm gonna be using is the Kiss Looks So Natural. Um, this pair is really natural and I really like it. And of course I get them in the full pack. I use them on clients as well and they love it because the band is just so soft. So I'm not gonna film myself putting it on because I take quite some time to get that done. All right, so this is the finished look with the falsies on it. And of course I touched it up with my eyeliner as well, making sure. I really like this type of look. I know it's not super smoky, but natural in certain ways as well. This is how I like it by using these palettes. So that's how I use both of these palettes to create a, you know, day to night look. I really like them. They're quite pigmented. I know I didn't use all the shades on both of them, but I tried my best to use as many as possible so I can test out how pigmented they are or how it worked. I am quite surprised with the, um, the lip palette that, you know, this shade is actually really nice and at the same time, it's not as drying as I expect it to be. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, remember to give me that thumbs up. I do try to upload one to two new videos each week, so do subscribe to this channel for notification. And, you know, make sure you click on that little bell. Anyhow, I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye for now.